So we've been very fortunate the last couple days. We've had the health department put together having a COVID clinic for those 75 and older. And so the, what you have here is the last day of the clinic. And we're really excited to have had it here. We will have their follow-up clinic. At this point, we don't know of any future clinics here in Hopkinton, but right now, at least we've been able to get part of the population and we're really excited about that. First, you're greeted at the door by the chief. And then we sanitize your hands and we'll give you a new mask. And then we'll have you check in where we hand you a consent. We take a picture of your insurance card and then move you over to the vaccination zone. We have six different vaccinators that will vaccinate you, go through all of your medical history to make sure that the vaccine is not contraindicated, and then you will go to the recovery zone either for 15 minutes if you don't have a history of allergies, 30 minutes if you do. And then after that, we have you check out um, and we'll schedule your next appointment. It's really easy. So if you miss today's clinic and you are unable to make your vaccine appointment, you can still visit the mass.gov website. Use the map to find a location that will work for you. There's also the state 211 that is able to assist senior citizens with booking their appointments. The senior center here also has um, helped us with booking any appointments for our clinics that are local. I'm here today because I, I could, you know, I had to come out and see this happening. This is getting vet people vaccinated in Massachusetts and in fact across the country is really the, the first order of business for anyone in government right now. Um, we talk about it all the time and just being able to be out here to actually see it in action is not only really important from a public policy perspective to make sure that, you know, the processes we have in place are working, but it's also just such an incredibly hopeful experience. I mean, just seeing so many of our residents being able to come in and get vaccinated, which is so important to public health um, and to people's mental health, honestly. Uh, it's just a really important thing. And I just wanna say thanks to, of course, all the people putting this together, the Hopkinton Public Health Department, the town of Hopkinton, all the public safety, police and fire who are out here today um, volunteering and putting their time in to actually put shots in arms. This is really what it's gonna take to get us um, you know, get our economy back up and running, get people out into the community again, what we're all looking forward to. And this is really where the rubber meets the road. And uh, just incredibly impressive to see the level of effort, the level of organization and expertise that's going on here. So uh, leave it to Hopkinton to, to get the job done. So other than being the location, we have been helping people sign up and we can continue to help people sign up. So if you do want to get um, a vaccine someplace else, uh, one of the mass sites, you can give us a call. We're going to be very happy to help you sign up. Um, we did a lot of signing up. We've done a lot of talking to people and helping them through it. Um, and I will say, because you may have to go to, to the Massachusetts mass sites like Gillette or um, I guess there's one in Natick, they are run very smoothly um, and they are people i'm hearing wonderful stories about people who've gone there they've had great um, it's been a very smooth process and they're in and out so it's not this big scary i'm going to be in line with millions of other people it's not like going to disneyland i'm told it's a much more calm uh very focused process but that it's easy to go through good afternoon mike the fire department's here today assisting the board of health with the delivery of their vaccination clinic. I'm uh, very happy to have five paramedics that are doing the vaccines and others that are assisting with the paperwork, checking in and checking out of people and the day's going real good. You know, I can tell that the uh, local people in the uh, area are enjoying coming to a facility that they know and seeing faces that they know when they're getting vaccinated and uh, it makes a difference seeing that and that makes us feel good. What is the police department's role at today's clinic? We'll help in any way that we can, but I'm just visiting today. It's really Officer Powers and McGaffigan that are doing everything today. Uh, wherever they're needed, they'll fill the void. So um, word, word to the district and, and uh, to all the folks out there, you know, waiting and wondering when they're gonna be able to get vaccinated, I would first of all ask for your patience. This is a monumental effort. Um, as you can see, so many um, important uh, structures that need to be set up to get this done. Uh, there is some good news. Thursday, February 18th, age 65 and over, older residents will be able to get vaccinated. I know that's something people, it's really important to them. 
Um, we know that we're so many other folks need to get vaccinated and we're moving the process as fast as we can. And we want to make sure to get those doses of vaccine out to the population um, in a really efficient and quick fashion. So stay tuned. More good news to come um, and be safe out there.